Hi, my name is Ann Dixon and I'm one of the engineers in this new book, The Women of Apollo. I want to tell you a little about myself. I grew up in a small town in New Jersey and there wasn't a lot of excitement there, so I made my own excitement by reading a lot of books, mostly science fiction. I read everything, Arthur C. Clarke, H.G. Wells, Isaac Asimov, even had a picture of Werner von Braun's space wheel on my bedroom wall. I was convinced that someday I was going to be an astronaut. Eventually, as a new bride, I moved to Southern California, but I was still aware that the scientific community wanted a lunar mission. And of course, as soon as I heard the announcement that President Kennedy made that he was committed to landing a man on the moon and bringing him back safely, I knew it was going to be real. This new program named Apollo was going to be managed by North American Aviation. I applied there for a job and got hired. I worked in a special uh, test equipment department which designed and wrote test procedures for special equipment for the project, some of which was built in-house and some was subcontracted. It was all a very hectic, exciting time and really exciting when the astronauts came out to sit in meetings and assess the program. As the program matured, I got an offer from TRW to go work on uh, weapon systems and satellites. But I never really lost touch with Apollo and kept track of it, nor did I lose my dream of being a women astronaut.